Hey yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Rev. Here to hit you with another tips and tricks session. Uh, today's uh, question comes from one of my blog subscribers on callthatreverend.com. Be sure to go to the website and subscribe to my blog. And basically the question is, what tips do you have for improving as a producer? So, um, there's some basic things like practicing your musicianship as well as wanting to be a better producer i want to be a better uh, pianist uh, try to be a better drummer whatever instruments that i use uh, to incorporate into the music that i make i try to get better at those as well um, working on your craft that means practicing as a producer it means producing you know making sure that you spend time making music uh, every once in a while grab an acapella and create a remix to a song um, you know, take a song that you really like and try and recreate the instrumental. Um, but today's real tip is is one of the cheat codes. Um, really, you guys have so much access, or we do, as producers right now in this day and age. Technology has made it so dope for us. Um, one of the cheat codes is just to go and buy a track out from another producer. Like, you really like this song or you like the instrumental that they did and there's something in there that you're trying to figure out. You can't piece it together exactly what was done by just listening to it. A lot of producers are online selling, uh, you know, licensing track outs uh, for artists. Um, and perhaps a bunch of us are out here right now like hoping that, you know, pro other producers don't go and cop track outs and then figure out what we're doing you know but at the end of the day you know what i say iron sharp is iron you know we're all out here just trying to get better uh gradually uh increase our intensity gradually just get better crescendo you know that's what i like to say uh so you guys definitely should definitely check that out it's one of the, the cheat codes or something that i've kind of used is uh going out getting track outs from another producer and certain things that i haven't been able to pick out just listening to the instrumental uh, it's kind of exposed like little techniques to me here and there. You're not going to get everything, but you will get, you know, you, you got the track out now, which means that you got every audio file kind of singled out for you, for you to decipher and, you know, pick apart on your own. Additionally, this doesn't just help you as a producer, but it's going to help you as an engineer because if they had a mix that you really appreciated, Going back, taking these stems and now trying to reachieve that mix is another tool to go back and improve uh, your engineering skills. And we all know that you know the music is only as good as the mix, uh, how it sounds when the when the listener hears it. So that's kind of two pieces. You know, you get to improve on your producer skills, and you get an opportunity to, to improve on your engineering skills. And Depending on the producer, the jokers out here uh, leasing tracks <laughs> and, and they're uh, licensing the multi-track out, uh, track out stems, multi-track, whatever you want to call it, for uh, dumb cheap nowadays. So, that's a little tip for y'all. I mean, if you appreciate it, you know, go down there, like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it. And as always, if you ever have a question, leave one down in the comments or hit me at callthatreverend.com or rev at callthatreverend.com is the email. All right. As always, y'all stay up, crescendo, and I'll see you next time.